Yes, I know what you're thinking. This is n not The Matrix, and I'm not Keanu Reeves. I am from Cyber Teachers, and my name is Mr. H, and we actually teach in all four corners of the world. So let's just get on with it. Uh, let me introduce to you Mr. Harry Igor Ansoff. Just three interesting facts about Mr. Ansoff before we start. He was a Russian American. He was an applied mathematician and he was also known as a father of strategic management. Now, the matrix that he um, developed over the years consists of four quadrants. And if you look at the top line, um, we've got the existing product or new product. And then on the left hand side we have got new markets and existing markets so what Mr. Ansoff actually said was if we are going to increase sales in our existing market with an existing product or service it is called market penetration that strategy is where you try and improve market share increase sales revenue and ultimately increase your profits if you decide to launch a new product in your existing market, it is called product development. Um, from there on, we move over to the bottom left, and that is our market development, where we take our existing products into a new market. It could be a new geographical area, a new industry, or a new business sector. And that is not as risky as the last one. The bottom right-hand corner is what I refer to as new new, that's diversification. That is high, high risk because we are taking a new product into a new market. So just to put this into context and to um, show you how it will work in application, the question I have for you is the following. Once we've got the four quadrants identified, my question is, how do we apply this to Amazon? Now, Amazon is an interesting case study, so let's have a look. When they started years ago by Mr. Jeff Bezos, um, it was mainly selling books online and later on CDs and DVDs. So if they wanted to make more money, they had to find out how do we sell more books to our current customers online. A few years later, they decided, let's do the following. Let's create an electronic reader called the Kindle that was launched. So it's a new product, still existing market. From there on, they also tried to obviously branch out in the rest of the world. And eventually they came into... Um, launch themselves in China and as we know it's not always that easy to launch in China um, as you would also know from the Google story it took them a while to get into the Chinese market and then lastly launching a new product like the Amazon Alexa or the Amazon Echo brand new product it's nothing to do really with books and CDs and DVDs where they started off um, but it's a new market that a lot of companies are getting into um, like Google and Apple. Okay, now let's move on. This statistic I thought I want to sh share with you. This is um, actually a statistic from the United States Patent Office. And yes, believe it or not, there are over 10 million patents registered in the United States. So hats off to the Americans um, for being this innovative and inspiring the rest of the world to follow. So... Okay, so that's just an interesting statistic. And then lastly, I want to share this quote with you from Mr. Ansoff. He said, strategic leadership will increasingly require a combination of three archetypical behaviors. The statesman, the politician, the visionary entrepreneur, and the charismatic doer. And if I look at this definition, there's two people that comes to mind. First one is Elon Musk. I'm a big, big fan of Mr. Musk. Uh, if you go back and look, do some research on how he started with PayPal um, and later on with Tesla and um, SpaceX. He is definitely very visionary as an entrepreneur. He's, he's still working on his charisma. He's definitely a doer. He needs to become a little bit more statesmanlike and um, learn from the politicians to get things done. But he's definitely a doer. He's not just a thinker. 
He, would con he can conceptualize ideas, but then he puts it into ac action. Next example, you might not recognize this gentleman. His name is Jack Ma. He's actually the founder of Alibaba in China. He used to be an English teacher. Did really well for himself. One of the um, wealthiest men in um, China and just recently stepped down from his own company. But he did really well. And if I look at the definition, definitely listening to some of his speeches at the World Economic Forum. Sounds like a politician, visionary, very charismatic, and he can walk the talk. So lastly, I'm leaving you with this question. Can you think of any CEO, founder of a company, or a general manager that fits this description? If you can, just drop it in the line below. It would be interesting to see what um, other visionary business man or woman you can think of. Okay, now that is the answer of Matrix for today. And lastly, um, soon you'll see more lessons um, online on this channel. Uh, we'll do one on SWOT analysis soon, followed by the Bauman strategic clock and then Griner's model for growth. And so lastly, guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe or just like so that we can get some indication of what you think about this content. If you do like it and subscribe, we will definitely create more. Thank you for your time and enjoy your day. Cyber teachers. Cheers.